house that has become a crime scene. The alleged perpetrator gained entry through the window. It was on the 23rd. I was sleeping in my bedroom. I was not sure that I was dreaming, but I realized that there was someone who was on top and the room was dark. And I said to this person, who are you? Because I thought he's my husband. I'm not sure whether I was unconscious. I don't know, but I regained my consciousness. And then I begged him because I realized that he was raping. He was raping me. And we fought. And he said to me, No, servant of God, I'm not going to kill you. Allow me to finish this business. I don't remember because I was wearing my pajamas. She wants the perpetrator to repent. As a person who accepted Jesus as a savior, I'm just praying to God that God can change their mindset. Congregants are shocked and angry. But the perpetrator must come forward and tell us why did he do such a thing. That is what we want because it's a blow to our church, it's a blow to the Christianity at large. We, we plead the police to please investigate and come forward with the perpetrator. The incident has caught the attention of the ANC Women's League and women's organizations who also came to support the family. We are concerned about uh, the security uh, situation in this uh, circuit. This is the president uh, of the circuit, and uh, she belongs uh, to a very uh, organized uh, church. I think as South Africa, we are in a crisis. We always say it's a crisis, but when you start attacking religious leaders, you must know you've lost your conscience, you've lost everything that should lead you as a human being. You're no longer human. You become an animal. A case of rape has been opened and police are investigating. The church has granted Reverend Giu Changela leave. Fundusom Sleku, the SABC News, Unum Tata.